Hey, good morning, class. Uh, this is Mr. Bean here. Uh, I've been asked to, uh, we're well, actually going to do uh, project 2.2, uh, Pendulum Part 1. So make sure when you do this experiment, you have uh, uh, the sheet here, which we'll go over. And uh, on this on this particular project here, I will collect the data for you. OK, and what you'll need to do is make a graph. OK, so we'll go ahead and kind of read through this here. And uh, so this is the pendulum lab here with the link here. So this one here, I'll go ahead and do the experiment uh, for us. OK, so I'm click on lab here. And when we do this here, this simulation uh, pendulum uh, appears here. And let's go and take a look at this over here. So over here, uh, this is the theory here. Uh, so we have a pendulum. So this here is the bob. Okay, this is the bob right here. And the bob is controlled by the mass here. Okay, and this from here to here is the length here. This is the length and controlled by this right here. Okay, and uh, this is called now, this is a new symbol for some people. This is called theta, and it means angle displacement. So if I'm here, and notice up here, see here, it's 7 degrees, uh, 11, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. So this is telling you the angle displacement, okay? Uh, so it's telling us, uh, you know, so like how, so like right here, uh, let me just go to 20 degrees. So right here, uh, I have it on pause. So this is 20 degree displacement from here. Okay, so that's a symbol called theta, okay, which you may or may not have seen before, and it's measured in degrees. Okay, all right. Anyways, as this thing here uh, uh, goes back and forth, the time it takes to go back and forth one time is called a period. Okay, so the period is the time for one cycle or back and forth motion. The units are seconds. Okay, now this mass of the bob here is going to be in kilograms, okay? The length of the string, uh, length is in meters, and the angle displacement is in degrees, okay? Now, uh, so here we have a formula mathematically that describes the period, the time it takes to go back and forth, is equal to 2 pi, which is just 6.28, div uh, times the square root of the length divided by g. Now, G is a symbol which means the acceleration due to gravity on Earth, okay? And its value is 9.8 meters per second squared. So this is how fast something rolls down a hill, uh, drops, uh, if you were to drop something off your table, it's going to accelerate or go faster and faster at this rate, okay? So G is 9.8. And up here, we see that gravity is set at, well, here it says 9.81. Uh, maybe we can make it 9.8. Okay, so it's 9.8. Okay, now in real life, uh, the pendulum, there's friction. So to make it real, I'm just going to add a little bit of friction here to make it, you know, to, to make it real. Okay, to make it real. Okay, all right. Okay, so anyways, uh, we have down here is that the for our purposes now. We have this equation here. We have 2 pi divided by the square root of L over G. But we can simplify this equation into period is equal to 2.006 times the square root of L, which is the length. OK, so if from math class, if I was to have Y, you know, T is really Y, this 2.06 is here. And here we have the square root of X, which is really the square root of L. Okay, so uh, what this is telling us is that the math model says that T, our L and T are related by a square root relation. Okay, because here you see the square root. Okay, so we're going to keep this in mind as we proceed. All right, let's go and get down to the lab now. Okay, so over here, like I say, I'll do the data for you. You collect the information here. Okay. All right, so let's go and put this back at zero here. And it says here, set the parameters as shown uh, with a little bit of friction to make it more real. So we have this here, okay. Uh, set the mass at one kilogram, okay. So right now it's at one kilogram, okay. And uh, let's see, and the, the d desired length, let's make it 0.3 to start off with. So here's 0.3, okay, right, there's, uh, okay, here's 0.3, and we want all of these trials set at 30 degrees, or excuse me, 20 degrees, which is about right here. And it says here, use the period timer. So here's the period timer, okay, it's right here, okay. And we'll go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and, and uh, uh, 
uh, press it like this. Okay, so because I have it on pause here, uh, this is ready to go. So this is going to measure the time it takes to go back and forth one time. And we have normal speed. We can also slow it down too if, if we need to. Okay, all right. And then it says here, record all data in the table. So let me go ahead and use this pin here. Okay, so let me, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Uh, see, we're on mouse mode here. Uh, okay, can I change this? Let's see, mouse. Okay, uh, it's on pin. Okay, well, anyways, uh, gravity here is 9.8. Now, I should be able to use this pin. I'm not sure why. Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, so gravity is 9.8. It will go here. The mass is one. It goes right here. The angle would be 20 degrees and the length here would be 0.3. So now we got to figure out what the period is. So when I'm ready to go, I'll go ahead and hit uh, play. Okay. All right. There we go. So it gives me the period is 1.1078. So let's just go ahead and round it to maybe to the nearest uh, hundreds one or the nearest tenth 1.1. So I would put 1.1 right here. So let me go ahead and put in here 1.1. Okay. The length was 0.3. The angle was 20. Mass was one and gravity was 9.8. All right. So this is trial number one. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and do trial number two. Go ahead and hit uh, pause again. Um, go ahead and hit, reset this here. Let's put this at 20 degrees. Okay. And let me go ahead and let's increase the length. Let's say to like maybe 0.5. Let's go to 0.5. Okay. Here's 0.5 here. And we'll go ahead and uh, hit uh, start. Okay. Go ahead and record the data. Okay, record all the, so you got you fill in trial number two okay and you can pause me uh, to get caught up okay all right i'm gonna go ahead and reset okay let's go to 20 degrees okay this will be trial number three so trial three uh let's make this like about let's say uh point seven okay here's point seven trial three okay and we want to hit pause here trial number three here we go Okay, here's trial three. Uh, you might want to maybe round it to 1.7 if you want to. Okay, that's trial three. Okay, let's go to trial number four. Okay, this will be trial four. And let's go to like uh, maybe, uh, let's say 0 0.9, 0 0.9. Okay, this is going to be trial number four. Okay, let's hit this here. And here we go. Okay, all right. There's the period for trial number four. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this back to 20 degrees. Okay, is that, see that's 20. Okay, and let's make for trial number five, let's go ahead and make this one meter. So this is as long as it can go, one meter. Okay, and uh, uh, actually let's do some, uh, okay, let's, uh, yeah. Let's make it, let's go to, I'm going to make it, let's make it 0.1. Okay, just for fun. Let's make it 0.1. I'm going to make it 0.1. So trial five is 0.1. Okay. And let's see what happens here. Okay. Okay. So for 0.1, uh, the period is as shown here, 0.6. Okay. All right. So. Uh, we had we should have this all filled out here. Okay, these should be the same. It should be the same, same. And this for you have to change and put in the values and go ahead and put the corresponding information here. Okay, so here it says constant variable. Okay, maybe constant variables. Okay, uh, that means no change. Okay, what did not change at all? Okay, what did not change at all here? Okay, uh, independent variable. We changed it. What variable did we keep changing? Okay. And the dependent variable is the effect. Okay. Okay. What was the effect of changing the independent variable? All right. Now we'll come down here and here we have, uh, we're going to plot the dependent variable on the Y axis and the independent variable on the X axis. Okay. Plot the points. Okay. Uh, make sure you label the Y axis and label the X axis. Okay draw the best curve fit 
do not connect the dots okay take a look and see which one of these choices best matches your diagram okay and then go ahead and answer what you, what did you select and does it match our mathematical model or equation from the first page all right thanks for joining us and if you have any questions let me know